Hello, my name is Regina Sommer. And my name is Peter Lindberg. And we work for the Swedish innovation agency, Vinova. Very welcome to this session about future network opportunities and funding opportunities. The Sweden Innovation Days is about getting to know the Swedish AI landscape, but also for us to benchmark internationally. We also want to share knowledge with you regarding different ways of collaborating between corporates and start startups, and also matchmake between startups and corporates. The first country we will present is Brazil. And with Brazil, we have a LinkedIn group called the Sweden, Sweden Brazil Innovation Initiative. And this is a platform for us to communicate with you, us funding agencies to communicate with you, but also for you to network between Sweden and Brazil. So please join our LinkedIn group. With uh, Brazil, we right now have an open call in a collaboration between Vinova and Embrapi. And to apply for this call, you have to be a Swedish organization a Swedish company, a Swedish research institute uh, that create a Swedish consortium. And that Swedish consortium applies from Vinova. On the Brazilian side, you have to be an industry partner in Brazil that collaborates with an Embrapi Institute. And the Brazilian consortium, they apply together from the Embrapi Institute. On the Swedish side, you can apply for up to 2 million Swedish crowns for a project that will last about two to three years. Any further questions regarding this, please visit the Embrapi webpage or Vinova's webpage or email me. With Brazil, we now have an, a new open call that we're launching today, and it is called Staff Exchange for Applied AI Research. This is a call for Swedish companies to apply to be able to either send one of their staff to Brazil for a period of six months to one year, or having an expert from Brazil joining their company for a period of six months to one year. You can apply up to 500,000 Swedish crowns for this project. And this is something that we hope could start doing next year. So the call opens now for applications, but in practice, we believe that this is something uh, that starts in 2021. We also have networks meetings uh, called Sweden Brazil Innovation Initiative meetings. And the next one is the 26th of January. So anyone is welcome to join. These meetings are now, of course, digital, but are about networking between organizations uh, both companies, research institutes, uh, but also for us to inform you about new calls and uh, to give uh, other research uh, funding uh, organizations in Sweden the opportunity to inform you about their open calls in, in relation to, to Brazil. So please join us on that meeting and you can uh, register on Binova's webpage. In our collaboration with Canada, we also have a LinkedIn group called Sweden Canada Innovation Initiative. And uh, also there, of course, welcome to join that group. It's about networking between you, between organizations in Canada and Sweden, but also an opportunity for us to inform you about open calls. With Canada, we also, for a second time, actually, we have the Staff Exchange for Applied AI Research call that opens today. And like I said, a company from Sweden or an organization from Sweden or a public organization from Sweden can apply within this call to have one of their members, uh, member staff going to Canada or a Canadian expert coming to Sweden to join their organization for a period of six months up to one year. Any questions regarding this, please email me regina.summer at binova.se. We also have another uh, funding opportunity that's actually uh, presented by the, this, the Canadian government, and it's called Can Export Innovation. This is also about networking 
and you apply, uh, you have to be a Canadian um, organization to apply for this, but it's all about continuing the network, continuing the collaborations that we create during these days. So please con contact the trade commissioners. Uh, you have the website uh, here and you can apply from a Canadian perspective, you can apply up to 75,000 Canadian dollars to continue networking and collaborating with Swedish uh, partners. We also have a Sweden Canada Innovation Initiative meeting on the 26th of January with the Canadian network. And the meetings are held in English, so anyone is uh, welcome to join. Now over to France, where we also have a bilateral collaboration. The staff exchange for applied AI research uh, is also applicable in uh, France. So uh, here again, a Swedish organization can apply to send one of their staff to France or either have a, a French expert coming to Sweden to join their organization for a period of six months up to one year. Within the French-Swedish Partnership for Innovation and Green Solutions, there are certain areas that are prioritized. Mobilities and smart cities. We have uh, AI, of course. We have life science and also the research uh, collaborations between the research institutes. So my colleague Emma Becke is responsible for our bilateral collaboration with France. So please contact her if you have any other questions regarding the French partnership and opportunities that will arise in the near future. And like you see, we have, the, it can be both workshops, uh, we have the call, of course, for AI staff exchange, and there is an accelerator program that has started. Now over to Germany. Germany is also one of the countries where Swedish organizations can apply for the staff exchange for applied AI research for either a German expert coming to Sweden or one in the Swedish organization staff going to Germany. And like I said, this opens today. The Swedish German innovation table, CGI, also have a LinkedIn group. And this is a, a call and a network um, that is open now and uh, I mean, can be co collaborations between um, companies, uh, organizations, and also a, it's a, b a business network that you can join. And it's a collaboration between the uh, Automation Valley in Germany and the Automation Region in Sweden. So you, anyone interested in uh, their activities, please join their LinkedIn in group to keep you updated. Uh, in our collaboration with Germany, we also have the fifth Biotech Hands Forum that will be uh, in the beginning of summer 2021. This is an event for startups to join. Uh, it is about creating matchmaking uh, events and networking. So anyone interested a uh, startup within the life science field uh, or, or a venture capital company, or other service providers can join this uh, event on the uh, June 10th next year. They also have a LinkedIn group uh, that you can join. It's called Biotech Hanse. As you might know, Sweden has, uh, or Vinova has 17 uh, strategic innovation programs. One of uh, these innovation programs uh, is called Process Industrial IT and Automation, uh, very shortly called PIA. They uh, have their own calls. So uh, please, you can apply for different uh, collaboration projects between Germany and, and Sweden uh, within their program. And of course, it's all about uh, industrial IT and automation when it comes to this call. They also have a, a LinkedIn group that you can join to keep updated regarding all this. And you have also the contact details below. Now over to Israel, another country where we also uh, have an office uh, in Tel Aviv. 
And uh, the Israel collaboration also has a LinkedIn group called Sweden Israel Innovation Initiative that you're more than welcome to join. Our activities in Israel uh, are under the umbrella, the connector. These are both digital workshops that will be arranged in the beginning of 2021. Uh, we also arrange larger events like conference and matchmaking between SMEs and corporates uh, in later during next year. Hopefully this uh, matchmaking event can be in real life, but otherwise we'll have it digital like these days. Uh, we also have a bilateral call with Israel that is up and coming. And more information about the Israel collaboration you can get from uh, my colleague Anne-Marie Finneman that is responsible for our Tel Aviv office. India. With our collaboration with India, also there we have a LinkedIn group called Sweden India Innovation Initiative. And please join these LinkedIn groups because they are a very great way for us to communicate with you, but also to the, for the Sweden India network to communicate with each other. First, I would like to promote this event, uh, the India Sweden Innovation Day that will be held in a couple of weeks time, the 27th of November. Uh, and it's uh, actually for anyone to, to join industry, academia or government in both Sweden and India. Um, the agenda is several thematic areas like transportation, energy, defense and space, AI. Uh, we have healthcare, of course, and um, also technology ecosystems. So please join this event on the 27th uh, of November this year. For more information, you can email Sanjo uh, for, to be able to register. With India, we also have a Sweden India Hackathon. And it's called Changing the Way We Move. This will be held in the beginning of next year, between the 5th and the 7th of February. It's uh, the Swedish institutes that, that arranged this, and you can contact Karin Scherr uh, at the Swedish Institute to be able to join this hackathon. There is also an event called the Sweden India Nobel Memorial Week that is including a woman in science and tech event the 7th of December. And this is also open for anyone. And please, any tech entrepreneurs out there, join this event, both from India and from Sweden. And uh, any questions you have regarding this event, you can contact our Science and Innovation Counselor um, in India, Fanny von Herland. We also have uh, a call open uh, right now with, uh, for collaboration with India. And it's a company-driven research and innovation project focus on this call. Any questions you have regarding this call that is open, you can visit our website and you have the address here, or you contact my colleague Malin Petersen that is responsible for our collaborations uh, with India. We also have within uh, the European research program, a, a new initiative called the Green New Deal. And here, the European Union has reached out to India specifically to, for joint projects. And this is open, this call is open until the 26th of January, 2021. All registered organizations can participate here. And for more information, you have the website here. But you can also, of course, contact some of our, my colleagues at Vinova that work as national contact points for diff different thematic areas within the European research program. You have uh, Nadine, uh, Mimi, and Eric to contact. And you can read here on this slide more about their specific uh, expert areas. There will also be an information meeting within the Sweden India um, initi Innovation Initiative on the 25th of March next year. And these information meetings are open for anyone. 
Uh, it's about uh, usually about open calls and about networking between different actors in Sweden that are interested in India, but also for, an, uh, for uh, Indian um, actors to learn more about the Swedish network and our innovation system. Again, uh, Malin Petersen, my colleague that is responsible for our collaboration with India, uh, can uh, give you more answers regarding this meeting and you can register to her. Now over to Japan, where we also have a collaboration with. Mirai 2.0 is a network with about 19 different universities in Japan and Sweden. They will hold an event on the 7th to the 11th of June next year, if possible in Gothenburg, Sweden. Uh, if not digital. And uh, the focus is uh, on uh, researchers in their early career uh, to be able to network and create collaborations within AI, aging, sustainability, material science, innovation and entrepreneurship. So please join this event if you are a researcher in Japan. I would also like to mention that there has opened a Nordic Innovation House in Tokyo and uh, the Nordic Innovation House in Tokyo have uh, network, they arrange events, they have um, a membership uh, if you're interested in that and right now they are focusing on health, clean tech and maritime uh, food uh, that's prioritized. And uh, what they're also doing is uh, they are uh, right now trying to find Swedish companies to be able to join the Innovation Leader Summit in Tokyo uh, in uh, March. That will be in the 8th to the 12th of March. So please contact the Nordic Innovation House in Tokyo if you are a Swedish company interested in joining that network opportunity. Now over to South Korea. And with South Korea, we also have a LinkedIn group. Uh, it's called Sweden South Korea Innovation Initiative. And again, please join this LinkedIn group if you want to know more about the specific offers we have regarding these countries. Uh, an event that's happening uh, between Sweden and Korea is the 5G hack. So it's a hackathon also arranged by the Swedish Institute. You're more than welcome to contact Karin Schär as one of uh, is one of the organizers and uh, this is for everyone uh, it's a hackathon so anyone can join okay then over to the USA and Silicon Valley where we also have a, a Vinova office so we have two international offices or actually three we have one in Tel Aviv Israel we have one in Brussels and then we have one in Silicon Valley my colleagues in Silicon Valley uh, are uh, these, this group of people that uh, you can contact uh, if you have any questions and want to know more about their activities. Inge Gustafsson is responsible for the Silicon Valley office. The Nordic Innovation House, where the Vinova office is situated, is a joint house between five of the Nordic countries, well, Nor Norway, Finland, Denmark and Iceland. Uh, the Nordic Innovation House arranges different kinds of programs, networks, events and also has a membership. And of course, if you are there and hopefully we will be able to be there soon, they also have co-working space. Uh, two programs that the Silicon Valley office arranges is the Think and Reach. One is an accelerated program and the other one is more for scale-ups, a longer uh, program that it's up to six months. The Tink accelerated program is uh, up to four months uh, and you can apply for these different accelerator programs uh, by contacting Inge Gustafsson that's responsible for the Silicon Valley office. They also arrange, like I mentioned, different kinds of events and there is an upcoming event for matchmaking for female entrepreneurs in Sweden 
to uh, create their own network uh, in Silicon Valley. Jenny Nordlöf at IVA is responsible for this and you can contact her uh, with these details if you're interested in joining. We also have, in relation to our Silicon Valley office, a fellowship program by the Wallenberg Foundation. And actually, two out of the five in the team are uh, Wallenberg uh, fellowships. Uh, and senior and junior, and junior individuals can apply. Uh, and of course, uh, the purpose is to learn more about Silicon Valley and create an own network there for both yourself and the organization that you um, are part of in Sweden. Contact Inger regarding these fellowships programs too. And with the US, we also have the Staff Exchange for Applied AI Research. So a Swedish organization, a Swedish staff member can apply to go to Silicon Valley for a period of six months to one year to be able to network and learn more about uh, AI uh, there. A person from an uh, American organization can also come, an expert from an American expert, uh, organization can come to Sweden for a period of six months to one year. But it's also always the Swedish organization uh, that applies. Now over to my colleague Peter that will tell you more about Evreka. Thank you. I will start by saying that the Eureka is an international network that promotes R&D projects on the international level. Uh, there are 45 countries that are members in this network and they are mostly European, but also other countries such as Canada and South Korea participates. And the principle is always that uh, the funding is on national level, so each partner gets funding from its national funding body in this country. Uh, but the projects created are international. Uh, and this is a Eureka Global Stars call uh, with a number of um, European countries and India. Uh, and in this specific call, uh, it's possible for small and medium sized enterprises, SMEs, large companies and research organizations to participate. Uh, and uh, According to the call criteria, there has to be at least uh, one European company in the project consortium. And you can uh, apply for projects within uh, key enabling technologies for healthcare, agriculture and water. But very important, projects with Swedish participants that are funded by Sweden and Venova uh, can only uh, create projects in the area of uh, health with AI as enabling technology. So we, Sweden does not support the full scope of the call. Uh, the call deadline is uh, on the 30th of November uh, this year at uh, uh, 1700 hours Central European time. And how much can you apply for? It's uh, maximum 2.5 million Swedish kronor per project uh, from Vinova to the Swedish participants. And this is approximately 240,000 euros. Companies uh, can apply up to 50% of their costs and research organizations 100%. Uh, more information is available via links to the Vinova website and the Eureka website. And uh, please contact me, Peter Lindberg, for more information uh, by telephone or email, and I will be happy to, to help you further. Uh, the Eureka Eurostars call is uh, aimed specifically at, at SMEs, but also large companies and research organizations can participate. Uh, and it's open for uh, European countries, South Korea and Canada. You should be at least two product participants from two countries, and the product coordinator must be an SME. You can apply for development of innovative products, processes and services in any thematic area. The product duration can be up to 36 months and then there should be market entry after additionally two years after the end of the project. The call deadline for the next call is on 4th February 2021 at uh, uh, 2000 hours uh, Central European time. 
Uh, and how much can you apply for? Well, up to 5 million kroner per product from Venova to the Swedish participants. This is approximately 480,000 euros. Uh, SMEs, uh, up to 50% of their costs, large companies 30% and research organizations 70%. And more information about the Eurostars call, uh, uh, you can find it by contacting me, Peter Lindberg, the Eureka National Product Coordinator, by email, or, and you can also visit Vinova's website or the Eurostars International website for more information about uh, the call and how to apply. Uh, and then we have the Eureka cluster call, Euripides 2 call 2021. And in this call, it's, it's open for SMEs, large companies and research organizations in Europe, South Korea and Canada. And you have to be at least two product participants from two countries. And the requirement uh, from Sweden is that there should be at least one Swedish SME in the product consortium. You can apply for international collaborative R&D projects in the area of smart electronic systems and components. Uh, and this could be sensors, power electronics, electronic platforms, construction methods and product integration. The product duration is generally 36 months, but can be tailored to your needs. Uh, the call deadline uh, for the product outline phase is the 26th of February 2021. And then uh, accepted product outlines will be uh, invited to apply for a full product proposal. And then the deadline is in the 28th of May 2021. Uh, and in this call, uh, as a Swedish participant, you can apply for 50% of the product costs the, on the level of the Swedish consortium. There is no upper limit of funding, but it should be synchronized with your product plan and, and a product duration. Uh, for more information on this call, please contact my colleague Fredrik, Fredrik Pilot at Vinova. Uh, and you can also find more information on the Vinova website or the Euripides uh, website. Uh, and now I will say a few words about the 2020 Korea Eureka Day on the 24th of November. Uh, and this is a, a joint event uh, between the Korean uh, Innovation Agency, KIAT, and, and Eureka Network. Uh, and uh, participants in, in this uh, event can be, again, small and medium-sized enterprises, large companies and research organizations in Europe, South Korea or in Canada. Uh, and on the agenda for this uh, digital event, there is a R&D strategy in the post-COVID era, digital transformation enhancement of R&D ecosystems, facilitating the future of mobility with hydrogen, the future of the bio industry, and there's also opportunity for online B2B matchmaking to create your future Eureka project. More information about the 2020 Korea Eureka Day can be found on uh, Vinova's website. Uh, and there are also links for registration to the online event and uh, uh, also a link for registration to the B2B matchmaking. And uh, please contact me, Peter Lindberg, if you want more information about the Korea Eureka Day. Great, thank you, Peter. Uh, these are more uh, great events to continue the collaborations that we've started during the Sweden Innovation Days. So <clears throat> thank you very much for this. We will also like to mention the EU SME support. And this is for Swedish SMEs that are interested in international collaborations. You can apply for um, Free, actually, it's free of charge, uh, but to get support if you are interested in creating a, a project within Eurostars or Fast Track to Innovation or the EIC Accelerator. For more information, you have the website here, but please uh, use the, the offers that are given here, uh, all the contact details that you have been given, 
And of course, this uh, EU SME support that is free of charge for any uh, Swedish SME that is interested in international collaborations. I think that uh, from uh, Peter and myself now, uh, we would like to say thank you very much for listening. And uh, it's going to be so interesting to see what we can create together with all these opportunities. Thank you very much.